Okay, so I'm here going to show you how to create your crossword puzzle in Excel. You've already laid it all out on your graph paper and now you've opened Excel. The first thing you're going to do is select the grid where you're going to create the actual crossword puzzle. Okay, so for mine, these are the cells that I need to, to accomplish. You, may, you need to be sure that you add one at least on the top and the bottom and on each side for, uh, for just a border. Okay, now that I have my cell selected, I'm going to change their size. To do that, I go up to Format, Row, Height. I'm changing it to 0 0.50. I'm going to go up to Format, Row, to Column, Width. Change that to 0 0.50. So that my page looks just like a piece of graph paper. Now two of my lines are not on the one page. So to fix that, I'm going to adjust my margin. So I'm going to click up here and I'm going to move my left margin over a little bit and now I'm going to move my right margin over a little bit until I'm sure that I can get everything that I need on one page. Okay. Let's change my view here. Okay. So now I need to add my title in. So to do that I'm going to select my entire top row and I'm going to merge the cells. Remember to do that we click on Toolbox and Merge Cells. Okay, so now I have one cell in there. I'm also going to change my alignment over here to horizontal and I want the vertical alignment, I want it to be right in the middle of the cell. Okay, so now I can type in my title page what I want. Okay, I also am told that I need to change my font in this to be Cooper Gothic and the size should be about 20. Okay, I need to change that font in all the cells that I changed. So I'm going to highlight them all again. Ideally you should have done this originally when you had them all selected. Okay, so now that when I type in these cells, this is the font that's going to come through. And then I also want to select the alignment to be in the center for all of those. Okay, so here's my grid. I've changed my font, I have my sizes, and I have my title. Okay, now I need to create the borders for the words that I have in my crossword puzzle that I've already laid out on my graph paper. So my first one starts here, and it's three letters, so I'm going to highlight those three. And I'm going to go over to the border section here and I'm going to select all borders. Okay. My second word starts over here and it goes seven letters. Okay. And again, I'm going to select all borders here. My third word is over here. And it is seven letters, okay? So I can go over here and select, or if you want to put your formatting bar up here, and again, that's View, Toolbars, Formatting. Then every time that I want to select, I just simply click right here. I already have all borders selected. So there's number three, and number four goes across here. all the way over to here and I can simply just hit here. All right, I'm going to pause this and then I will fill these all in and then I will be right back. Okay, so I feel like I've filled in all my boxes here. All right, so the next thing is now I'm going to fill in my answers now that I have all these filled in. And to do that, I'm simply going to select on each one and type in my answer. So for this one, this is my answer. Now I've selected a font that is all caps, so it's not necessary for me to capitalize each letter. To move in between cells, I'm using my arrow keys, because using enter won't get me anywhere, it'll just take me to the next cell. 
Okay, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to fill in the answers for all of my questions that I have for each each line. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so now I have all my answers in here. The next thing I do, I need to do, is add my numbers. Well, each cell is only allowed to have one item in it. So in order to add the numbers in the upper corner like Crossword Puzzle has, we need to use text box. So to do that, I'm going to go up to insert and I'm going to click on text box. And then I'm going to draw it so that it's kind of in the corner of where I want it to be. Okay? It'll come in and then I can type. I'm going to type in my number one. All text boxes come with a fill behind them. So while that is, once I type the one in, I'm going to reselect it so that I have blue all around it here. I'm going to go over here to my fill, and I'm going to click no fill. And all text boxes also come with a line automatically all around them, and I'm also going to click no line so that there will be no line. I'm going to make sure that my font is selected to Calibri and it is the size we want is about eight or nine okay so now we don't have to recreate this for each number we're simply going to go up to copy once it's once it's selected in this blue if it's in white that means you're selected inside of there if it's blue you're selected outside of there so you want it to be blue you're going to go up to copy and then paste and then you're going to click when you get four arrows and drag it over to where you want your number two to be. Okay? And you're gonna click it. You're gonna click so it's white. Hit your delete key and change the number and make sure it's positioned where you want it to be. Again, you're going to hit copy and paste and then click and drag it to where you want your number three to be. You click and drag when there's four arrows. See that didn't work so well. So I'm gonna hit the undo button. So when there's four arrows, when there's four arrows, I can drag it to where I want it to go, position it the way that I want it to be. And change it to number three. Okay? You continue to do that for each number. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, now that I have that done, the next thing I need to do is fill in my clues. So to do that, I'm going to go to about halfway. I'm going to start where my first cell starts, and I'm going to go about halfway. And I'm going to put, I'm going to merge these cells, and I'm going to type in cross. I'm going to change my font to uh, Arial here, and I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. Okay, but it's the same thing for down. I'm going to go and I'm going to merge these cells. Okay, I'm going to click off, I'll click back on, and I'll adjust my font to Arial. Okay. That was 16. Yep. Okay, so those are the same. So I'm going to go down into my next cell. I'm going to merge these, this cell as well. So this is where I'm actually going to type my clothes. I'm going to merge this cell again over here. Okay, so here's where I'm actually going to type my clues. So if I double click, so my first clue is going to say one, three. Okay, so now that I've hit one, in order to go down to the next line within that cell, I'm going to hit Control, Alt, and Enter, or Return. That will take me to the next line within that cell. So 
So then I'm going to type my next clue. The floor is So I'm going to click off of it just so you can see. So you can't see everything else that I've typed here. So in order to do that, I'm just going to click this bottom part here and I'm going to drag it so that it fits, okay? And to make it look right, I'm going to format these cells here. I'm going to select them and I'm going to go to alignments and spacing and I want it to be right at the very top of the cell, okay? So then if I want to go back in here and edit, I would just go to the end. Again here, I would hit Control, Alt, and then Enter or Return, and just begin typing my other ones. And you would do this for all of your other clothes. Once you have all your clues entered, I don't have all mine entered here, but once you have all your clues entered, then you're going to insert a graphic into the spreadsheet. So you're going to go up to Insert, Picture, Clip Art, and since we're using computer terms, we're going to select something that relates to the computer or whatever your theme is. And please just stick with whatever is in already loaded in here. I'm going to select this one and I'm going to click Insert. It's much too big for where I need it to go because remember my crossword puzzle is only going to be one page. So I'm going to resize it down to a pretty small amount as long as I'm not covering up too many words here. And then I'm going to change the transparency on it over here in the picture formatting block of the toolbox. And when I do that, you see it gets lighter. It's still there, but it's lighter. So. Once I have my picture in, and it's a little bit transparent, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, a footer where to show who created this. So you're just going to type created by, and then you're going to put your name, your name, your name and your partner's name right in the footer. Okay? All right. So once we have all that created, we need to go back up to our... Um, to our crossword puzzle and we need to add in the black area around the crossword so that we can see where our words should be. So to do that, we're going to use um, a shortcut Alt, click the Alt button, plus the Command button on your keyboard and it will allow you to select a variety of cells without necessarily going in order. If we use the shift key, it will make us select cells in subsequent order, those that are right next to each other. But by hitting the Alt key and the Command key, we can select all the cells that do not have letters in them. Okay, so as we go through and do that, and once those are all selected, go back over to my toolbox and I'm going to click the paint bucket and I'm going to select the color black and that will automatically fill in all those right there. Okay, now that you have that done, you have your title, it has to do with your theme, you have your words, you have your clues, you have a picture, it says created by down here at the bottom, then you're going to need to save it. So you're going to go up to file, save as, and you're going to save it as Excel crossword, and then your theme, mine is computer terms. Okay? 
Your name should already be within the document, so your name doesn't need to appear in the file name. 